uh, consider Saturday your best game of the, of the year so far? Um, I would say that's my most, most well put together game. Um, made plays in the other games too, but I would say that's the most well put together game I've played so far. How do you define that? Like, I think most people look at the stats and you got six tackles, so that's a good game. But how do you, when you watch the film back, evaluate uh, I, I would say making the plays that I need to make that come to me. Uh, playing fast when I can trigger, when I can see the play and go downhill. Uh, I would say those are the big things that I can see. And then when I'm in the uh, pass coverage or when the ball's in the air, making the play when, the, when it comes to me. Were you seeing those sure. the first three games when maybe the tackles and, and stats weren't there as much? Um, I would say the ball wasn't coming to me as much, so I was just trying to be patient. And I mean, the plays are going to come as the season goes along, so just being patient on that and not trying to rush everything. General, you been activated, activated this past week. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> 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 I mean, I feel like it's just the team that we played against gave me an opportunity to make plays, and the Lord put me in positions to make plays to glorify him. So um, I would say the defense that he called was a good game, and then made the plays when they came to me. Do you expect that to continue the rest of the season then, to be activated? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say if the Lord allows me to play out, I, I feel like I'll be able to make plays. Are there things you had to get acclimated to the first couple of games, just playing an actual game in this defense for the first time? Um, I would say everybody has an adjustment period when they change systems and everything. Um, I would say maybe a little bit, but I wouldn't say much just because I was in it for the spring and the fall, so um, I wouldn't say much. I would say at the end of the day, you got to play fast either way, even if you don't really, even if you're not accustomed to the system. Coach Day, has, Coach Day has talked a lot about your preparation every time he's talked about you. I guess what kind of goes into an average week for you of kind of getting ready for opponent? What's something that you're looking for? Um, tips on first down and second down in terms of what they do on second down after after their first down play. Splits that can help me see plays between the tackle and the next receiver there or the tight end that's there. <clears throat> Quarterback progression in terms of where he goes, pre-snap, what he looks at pre-snap, what signals he gives. Um, other things like that that can go into it. it can help you play faster, have more confidence for, your, for the game. You mentioned your trigger. I think it's one of the top things that stands out about you, whether it's against the screen game, against the run game, just see it react to it make the play does that come from preparation is it athletic ability is it instincts like what do you see as the mix that kind of gives you that ability i think a lot of his instincts that i mean is really god-given and i feel like he's blessed me to play the game at a high level um, i feel like he's blessed a lot of people to play this game and um, be in a position to make plays but i feel like it's also preparation and how you see the game and how much film you watch allows you to play faster when the when the time comes so That'd be the that'd be the biggest thing. What's it like playing alongside Lathan Ransom? That's my brother. Um, competitive, I'd say. Um, game to game, just who's gonna make more plays? Who's gonna <laughs> who's gonna set the tone when they come downhill? Uh, that type of thing. And he pushes me, I push him. So that's my brother, and I I wouldn't expect anything else. Coach Knowles called that like ball punch he has, which mm -hmm. almost is lethal. Um, what's your read on that? I gotta get better at it. <laughs> um, he he's very good at it, and I mean I'm trying to learn that from him right now. So he's very very elite at that. He also said there's like a calmness with you two back there. Do you feel that? And, and what's it like to be out there? Um, I feel like it's very intense. Everybody's trying to make a play. Everybody's trying to do their job at a high level, and nobody wants to give up anything to the offense. Um, trying to push them back every play. Uh, it's a, it's a fight every play. So I would say me and him just who's going to make more plays every, every game. That's really what it is. Are you still lobbying for any snaps on offense? Uh, I'm focused on playing the snaps that I get right now, so I'm not really pushing for nothing else. Besides of winning, what, what is your favorite part about playing the game of football, Caleb? I mean, you come downhill big time. You know, it seems like you, you like contact, whatever. What is your favorite part? I would say probably being able to be around other people that are like-minded um, on this team. I feel like God has put me in a position to be around other Christ, Christ men, um, men that are centered their lives around Jesus. So I would say that's a big thing right now. Um, and that's a big thing that's been in the past, just being around people that are like-minded and um, being able to grow real connections.
Yeah, but on the field in a game, what, what, when are you at your best, do you feel? I'm not trying to pitch another year, but when, when do you go, man, yeah, that was fun? Uh, I mean, it's always fun to make a play. Um, so I would say after making a play, I guess. There were last you, question. You and Zap and, and Crenshaw and Will came in from different programs, and it seems like you guys have just been seamless. That's not easy to do because you came from successful programs, obviously. What do you think has been the, the secret to that? Uh, a little bit what I talked about before, um, just the brotherhood that's here, um, the people that have the same like-mindedness, um, people that have centered their lives around Jesus, and that you can relate to that in terms of G, Trey, um, Mecca, and everybody else around the team that has really embraced us and allowed us to come into the brotherhood. Great. Caleb, thank you very much.